to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He'll return it from the three. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Dennis's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. Here's the give. Good outside run there. Dennis gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Pitch left. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. The defense was a little bit slow in reacting to the pitch out, and he had the time and space to break open for a good game. From their own 47-yard line. It's first down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Two times, two times. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball in the 29. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 13-yard line. Tackled for a loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 7-0. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle at the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Yardage. 
about four yards away here on second down. Up the middle for a nice game. on a pitch out gets to about the 37 yard line and they get enough for the first what's interesting about that short run on third down is now now they have the ability to go to play action pass and stretch out this defense it's first and ten ball on their own 37 and down he goes around the 46 yard line that'll make it second and inches Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third down. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Caught over the middle. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Seven, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. McGrew is back awaiting the punt. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. It's second and nine. Ball on the 17. He scrambled. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Tackle. 
tackle at the 33-yard line. That's a Danny and three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Five-yard line. First down. And he's taken down at the 45. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. it all going long finds his receiver who's all alone great effort by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play that receiver was so wide open as a quarterback you just don't want to blow it. that's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Cooper gains four yards on that reception. Second and six. Ball on their own 33. Easy, easy. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Makes the first down catch. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. the 43-yard line. It's first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That makes it 
second and ten. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. On him, on. Go! Yeah. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Rifles it right side. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Clement is waiting for the snap. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Big first half lead here, Herb. Well, they've done a nice job here in the first half, and they've been able to build up a big lead. But remember, it's a four-quarter game. Make the adjustments at halftime. Continue to try to fight this defense to get more points. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he hits him hard at the 26. That'll bring up third and four. to the 40. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14, nothing. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Curtis. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 15-yard line. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start. At halftime, they made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a that makes it second and six. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. He's hit and taken down. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he 
and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Man, it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Nice run there. About seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. Good decision-making that time on the option. He read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch. Gets out to around the 48. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. Gets out to around the 28. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review of the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, the on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 32. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 24. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 16. This is the 12th play of this drive. And he's level at the 15-yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 31. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. That's a D of six on the play. First down. Play fake. Here comes the defense. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at about the 45. 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 40. Good open field tackle. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. From the 34-yard line, first down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That'll make it second and three. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 14-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's scrambling. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job, and they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 22. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. Tackle made right around the 20. That's a gain of two. That makes it second and eight. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tackle right around the 12 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he's taken down at the 10. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Five yards to the goal line. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice 
nice play fake. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Morales looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Scrambling around. There he goes. Brought down to the 37-yard line. Fires it out. He's taken down at around the 50. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Slings it. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He came down with it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From the 16-yard line, first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick throw, almost intercepted. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it. It can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And they got him for a loss. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Dennis will run it again, and he's tackled at the 39. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Short pass, middle of the field, and he tackles them hard at the 26-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-10.
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.